Okay, so, uh, so let's talk about the plan for today. In fact, in Meetup, why we have any plan, right? We can have a simple discussion. But still, since we only have three hours, and we have finished 15 minutes of that. So we have limited time, so we have to use most of it. Uh, so initially, we'll talk about something about, you know, about technologies, about uh, my experience in the industry. Uh, then we'll move towards a small game so that we can have some fun. OK, so, uh, yeah, so we'll have a small game. And at the end, we'll have a, a QA session and uh, photo sessions. Right? Photos are very important. Uh, so we are living in an age of Facebook, Instagram. Right? So pics are more important in your life. OK, great. Uh, so let's start with the first session, which is of technologies and my experience. Where was I? I was talking about? OK, I have this Gajni issue, OK? Uh, so on YouTube, you, I'm a different, uh, I have a different, uh, what do you say, representation. You only see this part, right? <laughs> so they expect that I'll be short, right? And then suddenly when they see me in public, they're like, you don't look like on YouTube, right? So in fact, people observe me, they, they, do, they look at their phone. Is it the same guy? Right, so, so I'm different in the real world. Uh, so I have this Gajni issue not with the hairstyle, but with my, uh, in, in the way of presentation, if I miss something, I'll lose my track. So, so people sitting on the first row, you have to keep me on track. Okay, that's great. In fact, that's one, one of the things with blockchain, you know. So uh, see, blockchain is more of an iPhone type of things. Even if you don't need it, you buy it so that you can show it off. In fact, I have talked to multiple companies. They want to implement blockchain. And the question if I ask, you know, why? They say because everyone is doing it. They're not even sure will they use blockchain in the future, but they want to experiment with it. At least they want to do POC. Let's see if they, if, if they can implement a blockchain in their, in their company because it's, it's a hype, right? In fact, most of, most of the startups, they do blockchain because they want next funding. I mean, how they can prove that they're doing something? Let's use blockchain because it's new, right? See, blockchain makes sense when you are using, uh, when you are building something like cryptocurrency. In fact, every company now want their own cryptocurrency, thanks to Facebook Libra. Right. In fact, I don't know if you heard about it, but uh, Facebook is, I mean, the, uh, the people who were into Libra, now they are backing out. So all big companies, they are going away. And then Facebook is inviting small companies, but small scale. So maybe your company can also, your company can also apply for Libra. Uh, Facebook will fund you. And, and everyone knows what happens when Facebook funds you. You get into Indian cricket team t-shirts. <laughs> You enjoy, you enjoy your talk. You enjoy your talk. <laughs> Missing someone? No? <laughs> yeah, where was I? It hurts, you know. <laughs> so, in, in, you know, uh, even we are into uh, education platform from a long time, and we are still waiting for Facebook to fund. I know, uh, we have the ego issue between Facebook and Telisco. We don't talk to them, they don't talk to us. <laughs> Anyway, come back. Where was I? Uh, yeah, so blockchain makes sense when you are into uh, the cryptocurrency. And blockchain makes sense when you really want to have uh, the data integrity. So how many of you know about blockchain? Just wanted to check. OK, so for others, blockchain is a concept using which you can show off. That's the first thing. And second, you can secure your data. I mean, everyone knows, right? Your data is not secure. Even if you say your data is secure with Facebook, you upload photos in a only me mode. Right, uh, and you believe uh, Facebook or not Facebook, WhatsApp end-to-end -end encryption? <laughs> <laughs> because we have two things. First, NSA. NSA asks for your data, right? And WhatsApp can't do that. WhatsApp cannot have end-to-end -end encryption. And second, if they provide you end-to-end -end encryption, how can they use your data for the ads? I mean, you know that, right? So you get Facebook ads and you get personalized ads. And those ads are based on? Ah, oh, you see your search? Only your search? Voice. Only your voice? Voice search. Yeah, it's, it's everything. It's your search. Normally, we believe, yeah, when you go to Google, when you search something, you get results, you get ads. And it makes sense. Google says, we will use your data. So you take all searches. In fact, what I do is on YouTube, I, I clear my history always. Uh, so Google says, uh, we, we will use your data for whatever you search. But then nowadays, we have these amazing devices, and everyone, we are buying it now. Uh, we have Google Home, we have uh, Alexa. Alexa, yeah, and then we have uh, Siri, Siri, Apple Siri. Siri. Right? And then Siri is very famous. If you are an Apple user, of course, you will use Siri. Right? Kuch to use kare phone mein. So you want to use Siri, and then you talk to Siri about your personal life. In fact, when you feel depressed, you talk to her or him. Doesn't matter. It. 
So you talk to it, right? You talk about your personal life, you talk about what is going on with you. I have seen people, okay, they do that. So when they feel depressed, they talk to their uh, smart assistant. It can be Google Assistant, it can be Siri. And then they give you answers as well. They will say, get lost, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to answer that question. That's what they say, right? But then they are saving your data on the cloud servers, whatever you say. And why they are saving it? Because they say we will improve on our algorithm based on your data. Until that point, it's okay. And people who are working in machine learning, that's, that, that's their job. You know, they see all the data. Uh, so they see all the data and then based on that data, they improve the system. And it's fine if they are using your data only for improvement. They use your data for ads as well. And now you will think it's okay, right? Even if you get ads of, uh, let's say, and even if you get an ad on, let's say, mobile phone, it doesn't matter for you, right? It matters actually. When I get an ad from Dr. Batra, the question is how Dr. Batra knows. <laughs> Because see, Google knows I'm male because I have mentioned it. Google knows I am, let's say, six three, uh, six point, let's say, six uh, feet. I have mentioned it somewhere. Google knows my weight. I mentioned it somewhere. Google knows I don't have something. <laughs> That's a question. How Google knows that, right? Uh, why only I get the Dr. Patra ad? Why not you? <laughs> so they they track everything, and they, based on that, you get ads. And it's okay if they hurt your feelings. What is not okay is they influence you to vote for someone. In fact, uh, tomorrow we have uh, election. And you will, you will vote not based on uh, the party who works. You will vote for those party which Facebook believes you should vote. <laughs> right? Every day you get influenced by Facebook using Instagram. Right? So they know what your interest is and based on that they manipulate you. And who is doing that? People who work in machine learning. <laughs> Right? Because they have your data and they can influence you. They can influence you in a positive way as well. But it is not happening now. They're influencing more in a negative way. So we are, we are trying to change that, change that world now. So that's one thing. So we want our data to be safe. We don't want our data to be stored on Facebook. We want our data to be stored on your phone. So which is better? You having your data or Facebook has your data? Yeah. We have your data. We have our data, right? That's great. Second problem is data corruption. Government is not corrupt, the data is corrupt, right? Example, let's say there's a bridge and then bridge collapse. And of course people will die. But then we don't care, right? Because it's not our family member who are dying. But let's say your friend died, what you will do? We could make a social media post and make it viral. Okay, that, that's one thing you can do. You can make it viral. The next, thing, next way is you can go it in a legal way. So you can go to RTI, you can file an RTI and you can get the information, Kon Thao who build that bridge. Of course, right, there's a corruption involved here. I say, I say, bridge here, right? So what you will do, you will get all the data, right? Now in that data, it is mentioned, say project cost was 5,000 crores, but only 100 crores was used. Remaining thing went into the pocket of a politician. And now you know the person name. What you will do now? FIR. FIR, okay. I would hire a lawyer and file a case First, you have to build your guts, right? <laughs> you want to do that. Uh, okay, TK, so you, you, went to FI, you went to a police station, you filed an FIR, uh, maybe you uh, talked to lawyer and then you filed a case, and then you got your data, you got a case, you will go to court, right? And maybe before that, you will go to the politician. You know, the most dramatic way, like a hero. Yeah, that, that, that's what you will do. And then the politician will say, okay, get lost. We'll see in the court. And then, when you are in the court, the proof which you are showing is different from the proof they have on the server. What happened in that one day, not even one day, one night? The data is stored on servers or on papers. If it is paper, they know how to burn it. If it is, if it, if it is on server, they know how to change it because data is stored on Oracle. And how to change data in Oracle? Update. <laughs> it's very simple, right? Yes? Even if they update, no one will come to know that something happened. Yeah, you will, now you will say we have a concept of log files, right? But then we can also change log files. Log files are text files. You can double click it, <laughs> select, delete. That means anyone can change your data. In fact, not just that. We have so many 
uh, people from Bangladesh coming to India and they are getting election cards. They are getting voting cards. And they become citizen of India. Making sense? Yes. So all the data are getting manipulated. How to control that? And the solution is blockchain. blockchain. Because blockchain provides you the data stream which you cannot change. No one can change it. I mean, of course you can change, but then everyone will know that you have changed it. Making sense? Again, to know more about blockchain, it's very simple. Go to YouTube, search for blockchain tutorials. <laughs> you know that, right? You know that. Uh, and then you will get some amazing videos on blockchain. I mean, more videos are coming on the way, but then I have made only basic videos, but uh, advanced videos will be on the way. You don't watch. It's very basic. Okay. Not, you, not, not even you, sir. It's very basic. But for others who are into, uh, new to blockchain, you can watch that.